Hello there, boys and girls and uh, Box of Sound listeners. Uh, it's Bill with another video. And let's see, there was a uh, record show today. I'm probably going to end up showing you stuff, but I'll do that in another video. Um, well, let's get some background music going. First of all, one thing that I did buy at my record show today was music for Zen Meditation um, with uh, Tony Scott on the clarinet. Uh, Shinichi Yuizi Koto and Hosan Yamamoto on Shakuhachi. Shaku Hachi. Sorry about that. Now, I know a lot of you have this record already. This this is a classic. Uh, but personally, I have never heard it before. And uh, I saw this today and I, and I pulled it out and th thought, oh, this is going to be all beat up. But um, actually, it's in a nice plastic sleeve. And whoever owned this really took care of it because it got a little sticker on here. And let me put the uh, macro on here so I can show you um, how well this record has been taken care of. Back in 1981, am I focusing on that? 1981, this guy put SoundGuard on there. What SoundGuard is is um, there was this uh, coating that you could put on a record then and, uh, after it was cleaned and then rub it in with a special applicator and it created a very uh, thin coating that was like one one hundredth or one thousandth of uh, the thickness of a groove and would uh, preserve it and um, so apparently it did a really good job of preserving records. I mean, this is really, really clean. I'll probably end up cleaning it again. But this is a very clean record. Look at look at how that shines and glistens. So I'm going to place this on. I'm going to put side one on right now and just let it play in the background. So give me a moment here. Start this puppy up. Get some of the dust off of it. Looks like it's a very quiet record, too. And uh, let's take a listen to this right here. Just have this going on in the background. <clears throat> All right. Lots of stuff been going on around here. This week is Thanksgiving. And uh, we've got a cold snap in here. And in Ohio, yeah, it's getting cold. It's in the, the 30s and the 20s. Um, and this is about the time of year that we just start settling down and listening to a lot of music. And I was the recipient of some VCLT from Chris at Dixieland Farm. And of course, I'm not going to show any uh, addresses here, but uh, coming from North Carolina, he knows that uh, I'm into quadraphonic stuff and he also knows that I'm into Frank Zappa. So he sent me a whole bunch of burned DVDs with some really cool stuff. Uh, the quad mixes of Frank Zappa's Overnight Sensation and Apostrophe albums, as well as the Alice Cooper Billion Dollar Babies quad album in surround sound on a DVD. Um, also, quad mixes of Miles Davis's Bitches Brew. And then um, some uh, some other video programs. Got uh, the, the American Masters, uh, Hart and Lou Reed. Um, South Bank show with the Velvet Underground. I'm not that big of a Velvet Underground, but uh, seen it Lou Reed has passed recently. This will be interesting to just look at. Um, I can't wait to see this. The Wrecking Crew. Uh, Synth Britannia, which is a documentary about synthesizers in Britain. That I'm going to be all over with. Going to get, have to get the lobster bib out for that one. Um, now this I already have on a bought DVD. Frank Zappa, Barcelona 1988. Um, this is uh, from the last tour. This is the live broadcast that was done in Barcelona, Spain. Then there's also um, a documentary about Frank called uh, Piti Yatko or something like that. Um, includes a lot of interview footage of Frank in his studio. And I've seen a lot of the raw footage of this that a friend of mine from California showed me once. And uh, the Flaming Lips Soft Bulletin documentary. I've got the Flaming Lips uh, Soft Bulletin uh, DVD audio, which has that album in surround. 
Uh, so that's very cool. And also a um, documentary, a true testimonial about the MC5. So Chris, um, wonderful stuff. It's going to give me many hours of listening. Thank you so much for the VCLT. I hope to return it someday. All right, some recent finds and recent purchases. Well, no, recent find and recent listens. Um, I got a grail recently. This thing right here. XTC Wasp Star. This is their last studio album. It always goes on eBay for about 80 bucks. Look at that. There's Andy Partridge and there's Colin Moulding. Two records set. I found this for like 50 bucks. Never thought I'd be able to have a copy of this, but now I have it and it's it's wonderful. For XTC's last album, they really did it up good. And I, I may do a, uh, a video of all XTC stuff to show you my collection. Although a lot of the 12 inch singles that I used to have, I don't have anymore. Also been rediscovering a lot of stuff from my collection recently. Like uh, some Lowell Cream and Kevin Godley. Uh, um, this is the album with Snack Attack. And I pulled this album out because there's a track on here called Lonnie which is about a guy who was taking pictures of JFK on the day he died 50 years ago. Let's see, I showed this stuff already. Oh, also found uh, this at Goodwill recently. Chick Corea, Light as a Feather. Found that at Half Price Books for six bucks. A little inflated, but it's in very good condition, so that's why I bought that. And let's see, everything else I've shown you already. Hmm. Is anybody interested in a uh, copy of uh, Jethro Tull's Thick as a Brick in a uh, an award child sleeve with a Carly Simon cover? I didn't think so. Uh, probably got in the garbage or something. Anyway, okay. How many minutes have we gone through here? Seven minutes. I think that's enough. I'll do another video with my finds from the record show. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for meditating. This record sounds unbelievable. It's quiet as hell. I mean, the background is just perfect. So, I'm gonna leave this out very peacefully. Had a great time. Hope you did too. See you next time.